If you've ever felt like you're not living up to your full potential or struggling to find balance in your life, this video is for you. We're about to explore how combining productivity and spirituality can help you awaken your true power and lead a more fulfilling life. Welcome to Fluid Activity. I'm Kara, your guide to a balanced and empowered life. Today, we're going to be diving deep into the fascinating world of productivity and spirituality and how you can bridge that gap using tools like human design and cycle vitality. Before we dive into the tools and techniques, let's briefly touch on the importance of productivity and spirituality. Productivity helps us achieve our goals and dreams, while spirituality connects us to our inner selves and the greater universe. It's the perfect blend of practical and profound. As a certified intuitive life coach specializing in human design, I can literally look at someone's energetics and see where they're efficiently using their energy. When someone is inefficiently using their energy, things like health problems, anxiety, depression, and just being overwhelmed in life can come through. It's because people are trying to operate differently than they are energetically wired. So let's begin with understanding energetics. It refers to the study and manipulation of energy flow, vibrations, and frequencies in the universe. It's a concept that everything, including thoughts and intentions, carries an energetic signature. So when people have a desire to live their life differently, more often they are not living in an energetic flow of how they operate because they have this desire, they're actually not living it. But I truly believe if you have a desire for something, it is meant for you. So to manifest effectively, you need to align your own energy with the frequencies of the desired outcomes. This alignment involves harnessing and directing your energy in a way that resonates with your goals. So many people that are living their purpose are following their human design, whether they know it or not. My goal is to help women who are especially overwhelmed in their home and work life, who are very busy, very important in their job roles, understand their energetic circuitry so that they can really step into their power and have this life they so desperately want. So let's talk about human design and what it is. This is a system that helps us understand our own unique energy, strengths, and how we can best make decisions. By aligning our actions with our design, we unlock our true potential and experience greater productivity. So let's talk about the important factors of your human design and where you can energetically get into alignment. The first place is talking about your signature. That is what you should feel when you're living your design. Your not-self theme is designed to tell you when you're not living in alignment. It's that moment where you can take a step back and say, am I using my inner authority? That is how we make decisions. Am I using my strategy correctly? That is how we should take action. Those are the really important pieces about your human design that's going to help you energetically thrive in how you're designed. If you are wanting to learn more about human design, make sure you get my free interactive workbook so you can understand these important factors about your human design. None of the other things will really matter in your human design if you are not following your inner authority or your strategy. Even your type will not resonate with you. I like to bring this analogy of a lamp. Your lamp will not work if it's not plugged in and if it's not turned on. The plug is your inner authority. That is how you plug into making decisions. The switch, the action of taking aligned action will actually turn the light on for you to resonate with your energetic circuitry. Once you do those basic things and you practice over time, most human design coaches and experts will tell you it takes a year or two for you to get into energetic alignment with those very basic things about human design before you can tap into the power of your energy centers or your channels and gates. So then we talk about the energy centers. If they are colored in or defined, you have consistent energy in that area. 
so many people try to put themselves in a box of being consistent in a certain energy center and they're not built that way. So if we can look at our human design to help guide us where we can put our energy for more efficiency, it will change your life for productivity and not feeling overwhelmed because you're trying to, again, fit yourself in a box that's not meant for you. And then the key point of the channels and the gates are something for you to refer to over time. If you're not utilizing the other aspects of your human design, it's going to be a bit harder for you to really utilize and light up those channels and gates that are in your energetic circuitry. There's so many layers of human design, and that's why I think it's important for anyone to seek out a coach that's going to help you understand how to get into alignment with your design. Because when we understand it as a whole, we can help you get in realignment with how your circuitry really operates. So again, you can become more efficient in the energy you're using in your daily home and work life. Don't forget to get my free guide to help you understand the foundations in a simple manner. Because when we tend to dive into it, it can be overwhelming and we're missing the energetic link of how this all operates as a whole. Human design has changed my life in so many ways and I've seen my clients become more efficient Human design isn't just meant for the spiritual community. I personally feel like teams, corporate America would change if they understood how people are energetically wired and that their teams become more efficient. There's a study that if you are around people that are more productive, your productivity will go up 15%. If you are around people that are not productive, your productivity will go down 30%. Imagine if we leaned into our energetic circuitry, how much good we could create in this world. So if you've had those days where you wake up and it just feels like the weight of the world is on your shoulders and that you're at the pinnacle of your career, yet there's an unshakable feeling of unsatisfaction lingering, I get it. You've achieved remarkable success, but there's still something missing. And it's totally okay to feel this way. Even the most accomplished among us have experienced moments of overwhelm and wondering what's next. But here's the exciting part. You don't have to navigate this journey alone. There is a way to find clarity and purpose. And I'm here to guide you along with a community of like-minded, successful women. Allow me to introduce you to my eight-week program, exclusively designed for women who are like you, ready to break free from the chains of overwhelm, dissatisfaction, and feeling stuck. What sets my program apart is the incredible community of women that you'll become a part of. Imagine being surrounded by kindred spirits who understand your journey, share your aspirations, and offer unwavering support. Over these eight weeks, you'll not only gain a deeper understanding of your unique energy, but also tap into the collective wisdom and experiences of your peers. You'll discover powerful strategies to regain control, make confident decisions, and align your actions with your true purpose. All of this powerful knowledge is within your energetic blueprint from human design. I help you break down these powerful tools so that you can really step into your power. Just picture waking up each day with a sense of empowerment, satisfaction, and anticipation for what lies ahead. Envision yourself confidently navigating life's ups and downs, making choices that resonate with your core, finally breaking free from the grip of those heavy emotions. If you're ready to bid farewell to overwhelm, dissatisfaction, and feeling stuck while building lasting connections with successful women like yourself, take that first step. Join me in this program and set out on a transformational journey towards a life filled with purpose, fulfillment, and genuine joy. Don't let your current emotions dictate your future. You deserve a life that fulfills you with happiness and contentment alongside of a community of extraordinary women. Join me on the eight-week program today, and together we'll unlock the incredible potential that's been waiting within you. Head to karadumpsy.com slash offerings to sign up today. Don't wait too long. This program starts on October 11th. So the next tool that I've used in my spiritual growth is cycle vitality. Now, you don't have to experience a cycle to use this power. 
It's understanding the energetics of phases and cycles that you go through, whether it's in life with the moon or your menstrual cycle. For me, I had such big ebbs and flows in my energetics with my cycle, and I kept pushing myself beyond what I could really handle, and that was leaving me depleted. Using the cycle phases helped my energetic highs and lows to align my tasks with my home and work life. Instead of trying to be productive all the time, I know when I am more productive and I also know when I need more rest. And when I honor my body, it's made a huge difference. So how does someone that doesn't experience a cycle use this energy? It's just breaking down the different phases of a project. There's a time for planning. There's a time for doing. There's a time for refining the details. And then there's a time for reflection. And if we can break it down in that way and use something like the moon phases to help us, we can create more of the life that we want ultimately leading us to manifesting the life of our dreams. I personally believe when we break down the goals that we want to do into phases, one, it makes it feel more achievable. Two, it gives us time to reflect, to make sure that the projects and goals we're working towards are aligned with our desires that we want in our life. If you want to harness this energy, I have a few resources. I have a free cycle vitality planning. You can use it with the moon, even though it's specified for the cycle. Now, mind you, I have the phases broken down in the energy that is suggested, but the purpose of planning and tracking your cycle is that you listen and track your phases and your cycle. It is a personal subjective process and it's to get to know your body and your energetics through the different tasks and phases of your life. As for the moon, I am in the process of creating a manifesting with the moon workbook and a moon interactive calendar to help you use the different energies of the moon throughout the year. I'm hoping by the time I launch this episode. It will be on my website for you. But if not, make sure you sign up for one of my freebies. That way you are notified as soon as it's launched. Our bodies have natural rhythms and cycles, and being in sync with them can do wonders for our productivity and spirituality. You can also harness the energy of the seasons of the year to align you with the right tasks to move your productivity forward. There's so many different ways you can use the seasons, cycle, moon. These phases are meant to guide us when we don't really know how to use our energy efficiently. But make sure you leave room to reflect and see how these things are feeling with you. Again, they are not an instruction manual on how to do things. Consider it as a menu to look at and say, what feels good to me today? Because it's all about the energetics. If you're forcing yourself to be productive when you don't want to be productive, your energetics is not going to be lit up. So the purpose is to guide you into what energetically feels good to you. And that's going to be different for every person. So how do we bridge the gap between spirituality and productivity? Well, one, you have me. You can binge on some of my other episodes to help you get into the energetics. But sometimes we need more hand-holding in the process. And so this is an opportunity for you to dive into my offerings. They are changing. And so looking to see what I have to offer to see what resonates on how to help you get aligned with your designs. The motivation I have seen working one-on-one -on -one with people, even opening a group program of this collaboration of women who are ready to understand how they are energetically wired so that they can get more done by doing less. I personally believe this will change so many women's lives of trying to do all the things all the time, but when they lean into their gifts and their energetic wiring, magic happens. I've seen it with my own eyes, with my coaching clients, and all the people that I have impacted with this knowledge. So I just want to thank you for joining me today on this empowering journey. Remember, you have the potential to awaken your true power by uniting your productivity and your spirituality. It is time to live a life that aligns with your unique design and cycles. 
Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell so you never miss an update on this channel. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this idea and experiences that you've maybe had with these two powerful tools. And let's continue this conversation. Until next time, stay empowered, stay productive, and stay connected to your spiritual self. Remember, your spirituality and productivity are meant to be combined. Stop separating them. This is Kara from Float Activity. Thank you so much for joining me today. Don't forget to share this with a friend. And until next time, we'll chat soon.